So before reviewing this product, I actually had a look at the reviews online. Now, there's 117 reviews. Maybe one or two were written by the company. I don't think so, but it's possible. But with 117 reviews, you can be pretty confident you're getting honest feedback. Out of those 117 reviews, the average total review score was 4.7. Two reviews were three stars. One review was two stars, and they were the worst three reviews. The worst review, which rated two stars, said, tastes not that good. The protein blend gave me bloating. Used on three servings, it's still sitting in my pantry. Now, I think based on the fact that 116 other reviews said they didn't have any problems with bloating, that that's probably not a common occurrence. Well, clearly it's not a common occurrence. Now, the other worst review, which was three stars, said it was okay, helps me with meal replacement. However, taking too much of the superior way has had an effect on me going to the toilet. Can't really say that it helped gaining strength or muscle. I don't know what they're saying there, whether or not that saying that they got diarrhea, don't know. But of course, if you consume more protein, you will go to the toilet more often. That's the case for any protein powder you take. Now, some of the reviews mentioned that they've been using this product for many years and they thought it was effective and that was why they continued actually using it. Now, the other three-star review said, it's an affordable protein, decent taste and mixability. Serving size is quite large for the amount of protein per serve. Like I say in the review, it's one and a half scoops per serve. An okay blend for the cost conscience. I think they meant to say cost conscious. So as you can see, 117 reviews. All of those were four or five stars. One was two stars, two or three stars, with an average total review score of 4.7 out of five. That's actually one of the best review profiles for any protein that I've seen online anywhere. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. This is my first review of international protein, whey protein, superior whey. Now, is it really superior? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. First, I'm going to tell you what's in this thing. Well, you get 57 serves. Each serving is one and a half scoops. It's 2.27 kilos. A bit of a strange size, if you ask me. I'm not sure why they wouldn't use a metric size like two kilos, three kilos, even 2.5. But anyway, it is what it is. Now, the flavor of this one is one of my, the reason I picked this particular bag here is to show you that the flavor here is cookies and cream. One of my personal favorite flavors. I think everyone sort of gets a bit sick of the normal chocolate and vanilla, even strawberry. Sometimes I'll try banana, but cookies and cream is good. Now, International Protein actually recommend that you use this with water, but they say you can use it with anything else. I think they're trying to sort of suggest to you that protein powders do mix better in water. And often it makes more sense to put them in water. But personally, I actually mix mine with a bit of glucose. Some people put a bit of juice in theirs as well, because I think that after a workout, it's important to get some energy back into your system. And what I also do is I also add a bit of salt. Now, that's just my personal tip. And obviously, it depends on what kind of type of workout and energy use you're doing on how much salt, how much glucose you're going to want to need. But after you do a workout, you're going to want around about around about 30 grams of protein after your workout. And this one has 31.2 grams per serve. A serve is one and a half scoops, like I said. Now, what exactly is in it? Okay, whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, some extra glutamine, hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, some beetroot powder, and curcumin. Now, I really like the fact that it has beetroot powder. And honestly, I personally add beetroot powder to my products, whether that be post-workout drinks, even my pre-workout, I add beetroot powder if it doesn't have beetroot powder in it. And I just think, why would you not? I mean, beetroot powder is, it actually will give you more energy, scientifically proven to provide a similar energy boost to caffeine. And yet it doesn't have the downsides. It doesn't have the potential kind of hit that you get Sometimes after you have caffeine, you can have a downer afterwards. It's a stimulant. You can have your high and then you can have your low. But I found that having using beetroot powder, and I actually buy beetroot powder and bulk myself and add it to products, actually definitely does give me more energy and it doesn't have any other downsides. Now, I like the fact that they've added a beetroot powder. I don't actually know how much beetroot powder is in there. That's the only thing I don't, it doesn't say on there. 
So I don't know if it's enough to give you those benefits, but it's better than nothing. So I think if a company doesn't add the product, I see that as being something that, well, why wouldn't you add it? Because there's no negatives, there's no downsides, there's only upsides. And personally, I don't just use pre my protein powder only for a post-workout drink. I use it for all kinds of things. I might use it before a workout, after a workout, during a workout, all those kinds of things. So why have they put in isolate and concentrate proteins and of course the hydrolyzed whey? Well, the reason primarily for the isolate and the concentrate is to have a staged staggered release. Obviously the isolates are released in your bloodstream really quickly, whereas the concentrate is more of a slower release. That is true, that is a possible benefit. Personally, I prefer just a pure isolate, but some people do like the stagger release. Another one of the reasons is, of course, concentrate is actually cheaper to manufacture, and so you're actually able to get your protein in at a lower cost than you otherwise would if you were just having isolate. So there's two potential benefits, price and staggering the release of the protein. Now there's one final thing you need to know when looking at a protein powder, and that is what percentage of that protein or that product is actually protein. So as you can see here, per 100 grams, there is 78 grams of protein. So this is 78% protein, 7% fat. You want fats, fats are not the devil you think they are. Less than one gram of dietary fiber, 185 milligrams of sodium, a very small amount of sodium. Some people will need to add salt to this product if they're doing high intensity, say like HIIT style workout. 660 milligrams of potassium and only 3.8 grams of sugar. So only, it's a 3.8% sugar, 78% protein. So that's about everything you need to know. If you have any questions about the product, put those in the comment section below. You can put a comment in there below or you can contact us directly. I'll put a link to us directly where you can get in contact with us and we can help you with whatever your needs are. Now, obviously different proteins, different products, pre-workouts, post-workouts, etc., cetera, are gonna be kind of better for you depending on what you, who you are, what kind of exercise you do, what kind of body type you are, what goals you have, etc. But in general, for, for a post-workout protein product, this one is very good, it tastes good, you're not gonna get sick of the flavor, it's obviously different, people don't usually have cookies and cream. So I recommend this product, and I'm a fan of the brand in general. I think they're a pretty good quality and you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.